Reading. Oh God. Hearing Ariana Grande's voice and then my voice right after it hurts. Hey everybody, my name is Michael from Team Epic Reads and on YouTube is Michael Book Lion, and you are watching the September Epic Reads book haul, which is partially sad because it means summer is over and I very much love summer, but also even yesterday it was 100 degrees outside, which I don't think is necessary for anything. So that's just too hot. And fall means Halloween, it means pumpkins, it means falling leaves, and those are all fun things. So it's also kind of a happy time. I'm also very happy about some of the books we have coming out in the next month. I'm staring at the Tower of Books off screen right now. And one of those books is actually what I read in the past month. And that's a first. And you'll understand why when you see the book. It is Two Dark Reigns by Kendara Blake. The second book in the series, One Dark Throne, ended on such a cliffhanger that as soon as this came into the office, I needed to drop everything and read it immediately. And I did. And wow. So if you don't already know what the series is about, one, what are you waiting for? Get on it. And two, I'll explain it to you. It's about three sisters who are all born to be queen, and on the night of their 16th birthday, they enter into this deadly competition to be the one true queen. And to be the queen, you need to kill the other sisters. And so it's been madness since the start of this series. There are so many twists and turns you don't expect, and I literally took this back to read it at my apartment, and I gasped so many times that my roommate came in and was like, are you okay? And I was like buried in the book, and I looked up and I was like, no, but this was so good. And every single next book in the series, you think it's not gonna be able to be as good as the previous one, and it is. And I don't wanna spoil anything for you, but I do wanna say that while a queen was technically a winner in the last book, things aren't permanent and things might be changing and there might be an unexpected queen and I don't know what spoilers, I'm gonna stop talking now. So now I can talk about the rest of the books coming out this month that I have not read yet. And scratch that. This next book that I'm about to talk about, I have read, but that's because it's the new editions of The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. We have two new editions, count them, we are blessed. The first one is the movie tie-in edition, which has star Amanda Stenberg on the cover because the movie for this book is coming out October 19th. And then we have the collector's edition, which has the same cover as the original, except it's gold and brighter than my future. And you guys have probably seen the story. I hope you've read this book. If you haven't, get on it. It's a fantastic book. And honestly, good luck choosing between picking one of these. Get both, if we're being honest. <laughs> so now I can officially get into the books that I haven't had the chance to read yet this month. And the first one, I wish I had, because it is Pride by National Book Award finalist E.B. Zaboy. This book is beautiful. It feels beautiful. And it's end papers, though. I'm matching the end papers, which I did not plan, but I am very proud of. And you can see the two main characters on them. And I just want to stare at them for a little bit longer, because, wow. Okay, um, this is a book about gentrification set in Brooklyn, but it's also a Pride and Prejudice retelling, and I just think that's a fantastic plot. So the next book I have here, I am super excited for because I am a huge Patrick Ness fan, and it is And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness with illustrations by Rovina Kai. And right before I get into it, I'm gonna show you some of the illustrations because they are just so beautiful. Here, the title page, and those are illustrated throughout the book. And this is a Moby Dick retelling, but Patrick Ness flips the story and makes it so that the whales are hunting humans instead of humans hunting whales, and everything is just upside down. Whoa, this is, could we, could we fix this? Okay, <laughs> that was weird and confusing, but yeah, it's just such an intriguing premise, and I'm excited to dip into it. Dip, the ocean. I wouldn't even plan that part. So this next book, when it arrived in office, I swear that I stared at it for like five minutes. I feel like you could mesmerize people with this cover. It is For Muse of Fire by Heidi Heilig, and I just want you guys to get the full effect of the light hitting it. And it's like a holographic card on front. Huh. And so this is a book about a girl who has the ability to bind deceased spirits with puppets to make them sort of come to life. And it's set in Moulin Rouge era France and incorporates Asian cultures. And one last interesting thing about it, as if there aren't enough, is that it's told through mixed media so that instead of just being traditionally written, there are things like interviews and scripts and posters and even songs in here. And essentially I am sold. 
So, and next up, I have a few sequels to tell you guys about. And the first one I have is As She Ascends by Jodi Meadows, the second book in the Fallen Isles trilogy about a girl with a latent endangered magic she didn't know about in a world of dragons that are not being treated well. And definitely check out the first book before she ignites, before getting into this one. So the next book I have here isn't a direct sequel. It is a follow-up set in the same world. And it is The Caged Queen by Kristen Cicciarelli. And the first book was The Last Samsara. And this follows a different set of characters. And more specifically, it follows a girl who has to marry one of her old enemies in order to become queen and gain the power to save her sister from an endangered realm she was trapped in a really long time ago. And it's got basically everything I love about fantasy, so I'm excited for this one. So the next book I have here is Buried Beneath the Baobab Tree by Adobe Trisha Nwabani, and this is a harrowing journey that follows a girl who lives in Nigeria, and she had a really bright future on the horizon. She was gonna get a scholarship to go to school until the Boko Haram raid her village and she's kidnapped and it becomes a fight for survival and it's based on interviews with real women who were taken by the Boko Haram and got out and I just, I don't know if I'm ready emotionally to experience this. So the next book I have here is The Opposite of Innocent by Sonia Stones and it's told in verse and I always think it's fascinating when an author is able to tell a story through poetry and it follows a girl who years later meets up with her childhood crush again and they enter into a forbidden and dangerous relationship and it follows her story from hopelessness when things get dark to hope again and oh, emotions. And so the last book I have here coming out this month is The Deepest Roots by Miranda Acevedo. And this is about three best friends who are all born in this small town in the middle of nowhere. And in this town, if you're a girl, you're born with this inexplicable ability, but a lot of the time the ability feels like a curse. And so these three friends go on a journey on a treasure hunt together and their friendship is tested and they try and figure out what it actually is that's going on with everyone in this town. And so before I go, I wanna talk a little bit about some of the books we received from other publishers this month. And one of those is Dear Evan Hansen. And in case you didn't guess already, this is a YA book based on the story, Dear Evan Hansen. And then I also have Shadow of the Fox by bestselling author Julie Kagawa. And this is based off of Japanese legend and it has shapeshifters and samurai and it sounds like one exciting story. So those are all the books from this month's book haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below with which ones sound the most interesting to you, if you've pre-ordered any of them, and let me know what else you'd wanna see me do in these book hauls. And I, as always, am going to end this with a book shimmy out. So bye guys. I'm still not getting better at it.